All right, guys. So we're going to continue on now with Final Fantasy V. We beat the second major legendary dungeon. Let's get out of here. And then I'm trying to remember... Oh, no. I'm trying to remember what we do next. I'm trying to remember if we can do another one of the legendary dungeons or what like, what actually comes next. I really can't remember. <clears throat> it appears you can't do anything to rapid fire. It doesn't even counterattack it. That's good. Well, we got out. So, look what they just did again. They put me on the wrong side of the castle, so now I'm gonna die. They did this on purpose. What a pain in the ass. I don't know anything about a John Wick game, Matthew. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> a John Wick game? When are they making a John Wick game? Right? I don't know. I hear nothing of this. Oh, I have an Instagram. I haven't posted to it in about a year. I usually, I only used to post to it like once every year. <laughs> it's completely worthless. Okay. <clears throat> Karnak? I want a tool, but okay. I guess I'm in Karnak now. Let's rest and then we figure out what we do next. I know one of the dungeons is underwater, and one is in, like, a waterfall. But the pr thing is, I don't know how to get to either. Like, I don't know where the submarine is. <clears throat> you know what it is? I think we actually have to do, um... We have to do the Fork Tower, reason being, if we don't. I don't think we can free Sid. I think Sid's the one who gives us the other vehicle. So I think we actually have to do that. I think we have to go to Fork Tower. Which sucks. It's gonna be tough. Oops. So here's Fork Tower. The tablet said the two spells are to be taken at the same time or the towers fall down. I guess we better split up. Split the part into two groups. Which side will butts go to? I don't know which is which. I think is left magic and right physical? I hope so. If not, I have to redo this. Let's have him go right. Okay. Lena, let's think about this. If we're assuming right is physical, okay? Let's assume right is physical. Um, Kryle absolutely has to go left. And I would say Farish, Farish should go right. And Lena should go left. She maxed out Ranger. She's level 6 Black Mage. Okay. So maybe she, she should be a White Mage Black Mage. Right? She should probably be a White Mage Black Mage, is what I'm thinking. So let's have her go left. Ferris should go right, because hopefully that's physical. I hope. 
I hope. And okay, left. Now let's see if we can figure this out. <clears throat> okay, this should be the, the magic party. So, let's have her be white black. There we go. Shit, what the? Oh, they changed it. You just hit left and right on the D-pad, actually. All right, so this should be the magic party. How do you swap parties? You can't. Maybe you can't swap parties? Hmm. I hope this is correct. You sure look correct. Now. Immediately got turned into a toad. What the fuck? Where's Berserk? Berserk. I cast Berserk, it does 847 damage? Holy shit, that's terrible. I'd rather have it cast magic. 847 fucking damage, it's supposed to be a magician that's weak. And it hit for that much? That's insanity. That's absolute insanity. Don't use Berserk. Berserk is horrible because they can hit for 800 damage and kill you with two hits. So I'm not using that. Fuck that. No, I'm never, I'm never using Berserk again. I just we're just have to hit him with magic, like tough magic. I don't know what else to do. That was absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> okay. Still, the Google says, do you have a Reflect Ring? I think I have one. I have one Reflect Ring. So I guess we'll do that. That's all I can really do, right? Okay, um, I received a $24 tip from Captain James Tiberius Kirk. He says, Stardate 49341.7, the chat room appears to be strangely inoperable. Once again, I cannot see my text in chat, but I'm capable of donating. I'm heading towards the closet to procure Magnum XLs for a party tonight. Interesting. <laughs> Kirk out. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you, Kirk. Again, I did not. Uh, I certainly did not ban you. You're not banned. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you can't talk in the chat at all. It seems to be some weird thing with you and YouTube where sometimes you can talk and sometimes you can't. Weren't you here earlier today? I think you were, right? So that's Canadian Kirk. And to be careful with those Magnum XLs, I've heard that they're, they uh, sometimes are very small. Too small for you. Okay. So thank you, Canadian Kirk. Thank you for your very, very generous tip. Okay. Now let's continue. Yeah, they're just gonna cast those weak spells. I'll just keep hitting it with Kame. That's fine. Or just attack, right? Jitterbug. 
die. Absorbed it. Cool. All right. I want to cast. You want to cast Berserk on the boss, not normal enemies. Okay. Oh, I put twenty. It's a twenty-four dollar tip. You guys are completely correct. I counted it as twenty instead of twenty-four. Oops. This should actually be thirty. My fault. There we go. Thank you for correcting me, Shrubrat. Appreciate that. You caught me. Shake my hand. How are you tonight? Have you ever seen Biodome? Yes, I did see Biodome. I did see the movie. Shit! The Chrono Controller. Jitterbug. Get sick with the bio spell. Time to get down with the sickness. Wow, 54 damage. Amazing. Oh, that's gonna hurt a ton. What the fuck was I supposed to do to that? I even had the ring on and it still killed me. Thank God for the auto save. Or the auto, uh... That's absolutely ridiculous what just happened. What the hell did they expect me to do there? I really have no idea. Oh. Okay. That's why you don't use a physical attack in the magic tower, says Stealthy Koopa. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> I just got a flame rod. I guess I won't use that. Let's, uh, let's uh, equip something different. Staff of Light. Strengthens fire magic, huh? Okay. Ether. Shitty ass. Help him. I love that since I put the reflect ring on, he literally nothing is used to spell against me. You notice that, right? I love it. All right. went the wrong fucking way. Okay. Ooh. Oi! Die, you fucker. Very good. Ooh. White magic level two? That's good. How do I swap parties? They actually never explained it, did they? Wonder Wand. A rod that casts a spell when used to attack casts return when used in battle. So when you use it, it casts a random spell. You don't even know what it's going to cast. Oh, uh, I'm going to try it. It's probably I'm going to regret it, though. At least we have auto save, right? Oh, God, this is a lot of enemies. Here. They healed him? A tiny mage. Look, a itty bitty tiny mage. Again, notice they only cast spells on the one that doesn't have the Reflect. They literally haven't cast a single spell on the Reflect. Level 43. 
Okay, about 1,500 HP and no weaknesses. And then, of course, use the spell. That goes right through the, the reflect. Excellent. I have no idea how it's missing. It should not be missing. Good evening, King Michael. If I'm reflecting their spells back, it should be hitting them every time and not missing, but it misses. Skin on my teeth. What a weird ass party, right? Don't ask me why hitting you with a mallet cures that, by the way. I have no clue. Well, it's elixir time for sure. Here we go. Oh, man. All right. If you guys are noticing, I'm not addressing any of the things people are tagging me and talking about because it's all nonsense, so I'm just not going to waste my time. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, other side now. So, classes, right? Hmm. We should do counter. Right? I think dual wielding counter should be perfect. We'll try it, but I think this is probably the best the best we can do. Only bummer is we're gonna have to keep changing class to heal, right? It's gonna be annoying for sure. We'll give it a go though. <clears throat> Alright. Um, I received a $2 tip from Radical Jaws. I can't wait for your summer event called Phil's Bikini and Brawl. And just up as Cami in a bikini, don't worry, I'm completely joking. Viva the Street Fighter on Friday. All right, I'm glad that you're joking. I was going to say that I dress up like a Zangi and go completely topless and we just wear like red underwear. underwear. I, I have the body hair for it, for sure. I got the look down, I think. So, there you go. But anyway, thank you for that. And uh, I received another tip. A $5 tip. From Alex. He says, I'm enjoying these streams. I bought this game. I thought this game would be over. Why don't you be exit the first time? I'm glad this game continues. I think you'd be finding it difficult. It's fun watching you play. No exaggeration. I do feel this is the hardest of all the classic Final Fantasies. I think 5, they're really going for that. Then in 6, it gets easier. But has a way more epic story. So... Gameplay-wise, though, this is really tough compared to the other ones. So, thank you very much, Alex, for the tip. Thank you guys for the support. Again, it sure would be nice if we could hit the Tier 1 tips goal. Speaking of the devil, I just received a $13 tip from Crystal Laser. He says, here you go, Phil. I await the day you will play. We're going to be in Battle Network Legacy Collection. Well, we'll see if we ever get to it. I wasn't opposed to it, but it didn't seem people really wanted it that much. Uh, and that's why we didn't uh, do it earlier this year. So with that, we have hit our Gunner Glasses goal. Hallelujah. We didn't even hit it on the first stream. We hit it on the late stream. So thank you for that. Let's get the Gunner Glasses on. Thank you, thank you for that. Okay. All right, all right. Thank you, guys. Dinner was good tonight, King Michael. Turkey, Turkey Joe's. Okay. All right, let's continue. Let's see how we now do with the physical side of things. I'm not convinced this is gonna go so well, but we're gonna give it a shot. Shitty fuck. Berserker! He got fucked up. 
What's is already mastered? Jump. High potion, cool. You want to duel, Mr. Knight? I don't think so. I think you want to die. Dueling Knight is dead. Oh, uh, King Michael, I have no idea what you're talking about. Berserker. Wow, this is significantly easier than the other side of the tower, is it not? Defender? Blade that sometimes parries enemy attacks cast Protect when used in battle. So it's a good defensive blade. Um, it's not going to have the holy effect as Excalibur, though. But it will give me more defense, I believe, right? So, man, that's actually a tough decision. I want to keep the Brave Blade. I'm, should I use the Defender instead of Excalibur? It might actually be better because it auto-casts Protect. Let's actually try it. I'm just curious. Let's give it a shot. And we made it instantly. Are you kidding me? We made it all the way that quick. All right, here we go. Boss time. We have to take them both at exactly the same time. All right, here we go. Take it right when I do. <clears throat> Got it. Boss time. Minotaur! Critical attack. Oh my god! It absorbed it! I'm fucked! I can't use butts. I had no idea he would absorb... Holy... That's complete bullshit, actually. I'm completely screwed. He's gonna absorb whole. I can't attack at all with butts. Wow, this sucks. Can't equip the power of holy magic. Oh, we did it. Did we do it? I think it's time you tasted its might. Uh oh. Holy. Not enough MP! Ha <laughs> ha! He tried to cast it and he had not enough MP and he died. Nice. It's like, how can you cast it? You're a freaking. You're a physical dude, you idiot, right? Oh, well, we did it! We got 20 ABP. Very nice. Holy obtained. <clears throat> Very good. Now it's time over here. If we don't make it quick, the whole tower will blow. Alright, Berserk on this guy. Omniscient. Instantly dead. Oh. All right. Uh, that doesn't work. If you cast Berserk on him, he immediately instantly kills both of your characters. So that does not work. That is a horrible, horrible advice. <laughs> Absolutely terrible advice. Worthless. Okay, let's try again. Slow. Let's try the holy spell. Oh, I don't have it? Why can't I use holy? I just learned it, but I can't use it. That's stupid. I can't use it, apparently. Alright. Uh, I'll try bio. It does, like, nothing. So 
we slowed him. And chased on her. This will try fire for lightning? For lightning. cast quick, then I think I can cast Comet twice. probably won't work on it, right? I'm trying to think, like, none of these probably work. None of those status effects. Can you make them... Wait a minute. I was just gonna say, can we try stat... Let's try silence. Nothing. I was gonna say, can we try it? Oh, he tried to do it on me! It didn't work on him. I wonder if you can silence it. What if we keep trying? Will it eventually stick? You think it'll eventually work? Maybe it's, it's a rare hit, but it'll work, right? Huh? You can actually cast stop on me. Interesting. Can we try it? Try stop. Alright, I hit stop. Let's do that. Let's keep stopping his ass. Sounds like a plan. how much health he has. I think all these spells did exactly the same damage, so it doesn't even matter what I cast. Probably have to use another elixir. It's all right. We're using them all in the right times here. Let's see how much health he has. Level 53. He's got 7,000 left. All right. Vulnerable to wind. We don't have any wind spells, do we? I don't think so. Our MP now. Might as well just do an elixir. I got eight of them. Toad. Alright, we have to stop him again. So let's do quick. Let's stop. Work. Didn't work. Try again. Stop. It worked! Nice. Eric, how's it going? Good evening. Good to see you. Hopefully not we can kill him before the stop wears off. Okay. You gotta almost be there. You gotta almost be there. Oh, 
Come on! Why don't we do 200? That's stupid bullshit. Die! Got him! He only hit one of us with Flare. Sweet. Woo! So now we get Holy and Flare. Crystal Laser, the Minotaur that you killed was the brother of the Minotaur you killed in the pyramid that talked to you? I don't remember a Minotaur talking to me. But okay. Oh, that's right. Didn't he say my brother will get you? I think he said that, right? He said my brother will get you or something like that? Well, so much for that. So by the way, I received a dollar tip. Yes. Basically, the dollar tipper says, can you please explain to the audience that when you're talking about trolling in chat, it's trolling itself, and please stop. I agree. Stop saying the trolls are losing. Oh, the trolls, the trolls. No one fucking cares. Shut up about the trolls. Any mention of trolling literally should be a violation of the rules and be a ban. It should be. Unless someone is actively trolling badly in the chat and have an issue, you know, and then you say, hey, Phil, can you moderate for me because someone's trolling? That's different. But if you're sitting here talking about trolls all fucking night, nobody cares. So shut up about that. Thanks. Okay. We did it. We got Flare and Holy. The tower is disappearing. Because we beat it. And I think this will free Sid now. Yes. Oh, and somehow we were fully restored. We are about 80 or so ability points from getting dual cast with Kryle. Which would be great if we did. Anyway. um, Should we stick with this or should we go back to Lena being the dual wielding ninja? Hmm. I think we should go back to, to Lena being the dual wielding ninja for now. Okay. There we go. I guess we'll keep Butts as a Dragoon for now. Why not? Okay, let's save. And then we're going to see what happens here because I think we can free Sid now. Because we beat the tower. Almost a dual cast, exactly. And I got... Not only am I almost a dual cast, I got the best spells in the game, too, so... I don't think there's a dungeon here. I think we just run right into Sid, don't we? We don't need the rest. We're good. But we're Sid. Sid should be here, but he's missing. Where the hell is he? Oh, uh, where the hell is he? There he is. He's stuck in a gear. Look. Oh, my head is spinning. Grandpa, are you okay? I think I'm going to be sick, but first, the good news. We discovered some long-lost engineering techniques in an old book. That means we can upgrade the airship with submarine functionality. Really? Butter says Dragoons are due. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, Butters. I hope I can get good abilities. I don't remember what the Dragoon gets in this game. We're going to find out. <clears throat> Of course, nothing's impossible for me. Come on, mid. Yeah. Well, thank you, King Michael. Let's just keep up the awesome work. Thank you. So there they go. They're going to upgrade again. And now the airship becomes a submarine. I think that's how we get to the third dungeon, actually. Shouldn't take much longer. Wow, you two really work hard. Grandpa blames himself for the world having ended up like this. But, it 
It's not like there's anything that he could have done. I know that. I think deep down, he knows it too. From now on, he's determined to see his inventions used for peace. And that should do it. Once you're in the water, press the confirm button and then the down arrow. The undersea world is now yours to explore. Thanks for everything, guys. But, I can't fight for beans. In fact, about all I'm good for is modifying this machinery. Even so, I've tried to do everything that I can to help you out. The rest is now in your hands. Which is funny, in Final Fantasy IV, Sid is actually a good party member. He kicks ass. And then, of course, he comes back in Final Fantasy uh, VII as a good party member as well. Come on, guys. We can travel underwater now, right? Aye. Now we can search for the tablet that's underneath the waves. Mid, take good care of your grandpa. See, they have, a, they, they have a kind of a connection because they both have their grandfathers involved in the story. You guys take care, too. Alright. No point in dawdling. Let's go! Oh, Cyrox the Rapper, I just played Mario 64 like two years ago. So that would not be the next retro playthrough I do. Okay, um... Man. So the thing is, we have about 20 minutes left on the stream, give or take. I'd like to do something else, but I don't know what we have time to do. I don't want to start a dungeon and then we can't continue it because we can't find a save point. You know what I mean? I hope if we do, if we do one, we can find a save point. By the way, I received a $5 tip. Uh, Sean H. says, Thank you so much for the entertaining weekend. I have off tomorrow. I'll stay up later for this late stream. I'm mainly lurking chat, but I'm here. Thanks again. Thank you very much to Sean H. What a nice, uh, what a nice message and a nice tip. I appreciate that, Sean. So, we're now at $56 in tips. Thank you guys for your support tonight and again. Being that today was a, was a, a very slow stream earlier today. I do appreciate this, guys. Thank you for your support. All right. Oh, Paper Mario 64? I would be down for any Paper Mario game, but I don't know how you could play them, actually. Arcade Cup just tipped me $1.25. So said, classical Final Fantasy games forever. Thank you, Arcade Cup. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to play all of them in this collection with you guys over time. Should be a great time. I haven't played one, two, or three for YouTube, so it'd be nice to play those, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's on the Nintendo Store. And, uh... On the Switch? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Alright, what should we do? Did I save? I saved, right? Because I think there's two things to do. If I remember correctly, there's one underwater dungeon, and there's another optional underwater dungeon, if I remember correctly. But then on top of that, I think the other dungeon you need to go to is up here, in, in the waterfall. Right here. I think this is the dungeon. I think what you need to do is find a way to, like, sail your boat up there, and then you can go to the dungeon, if I remember correctly. Let's see. See, you can't do it from here. But there's... I think there's a way that you can sail your boat, like, in there, and I think that's where it is. Like, in there. If I remember correctly, right? I can do the Sunken Tower of Walsh. You only have seven minutes to get the go-go. Oh, I don't know anything about that, though. I don't know about that. Use a chocobo and you can walk on the river. That's how you do it? A chocobo? Really? I don't remember that at all. It seems like there's a cave here. See that? Well, I don't know where the Sunken Walls Tower is. Because Walls doesn't exist anymore, right? It's gone. It got sucked up. So I don't know where the hell it is. <laughs> hmm. Going under. Anything in here? 
Not that I can see. This looks just like a little yeah, nothing in it. Nope. Okay, never mind. This is not it. Ramrod, if you don't stop trolling, I'm gonna start moderating you. Because you're trolling bad and I've had enough of it, man. You gotta stop. Something here, maybe? Let's see. It might be right to the left there. Or maybe here. Usually, if there's something hidden, it's in a little alcove like this. Nope. to already. South of, try south of the Phoenix Tower. Phoenix Tower's over here. So down here. Alright. That's not it. here. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, no. That's not it either. Ugh. Can't find it. Willow, you're going to the beach tomorrow? Well, then I'll see you when I see you. Hope you have a good time. I can probably hold my breath for about seven minutes. How do I do this? I can't figure out where to go. Oh, no. What do I do? I can't see anything. I do. I can't do anything. I'm stuck. Look. Great, a mustard bomb. At least the attacks are going well. What the hell did that do? Did I take advantage of Memorial Day weekend sales? No. As you know, I've been here all weekend with you guys. I haven't been to any stores. And they didn't have any Memorial Day weekend sales on tires, unfortunately. That would have been great if they did. <laughs> no go there. I don't know how I get to... Oh, I see. Shit. Or, you know, entire wheel assemblies. <laughs> and yes, all of that is fixed. It was expensive, but it's all fixed. It's all taken care of now, so no worries there. 
This is how you get the item, I think. Oh, I got an extra seven minutes. Oh, okay. It reset my seven minute counter. Gotta love that 17 damage. Did I just cast Shell on the fucker? I did. It's weird, this Wonder Rod, you think it's gonna hurt? It doesn't, it just keeps helping the enemies. <laughs> it's helping all the enemies. By the way, I should take the Protect Ring off, shouldn't I? Probably a good idea. Things still didn't die. What? Wait, what? Did you just see that? How does that make any fucking sense what just happened? Your level 5 death bounced off my shield and hit me. How the fuck did it hit my own party? It's supposed to reflect back at the enemies, not at me. That didn't make any sense at all. That made zero fucking sense. It's like the game broke its own rules. Level 5 death is a group spell that can hit anyone? Well, that's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, let's take this off. Let's put the protect ring back on. Okay. This wonder on is we're on to shit. You don't know what it's gonna do. It sucks. Let's go back to the healing staff. Okay. This is an annoying ass fucking party, man. Oh, good evening, Matthew. How are you? Good to see you. We're doing good. This is our third dungeon of the night. We had a dungeon crawling tonight. 101. Like, crazy amount of dungeon crawling tonight. Bust never even came down with the Dragoon job. Yeah, he came down at the last minute. He's like, bloop. Oh, this sucks. I have to change jobs just to fucking revive. So I had jump. What was the other thing I had on him? Was it counter? I don't know if it was counter. I don't know what I had on it. Uh, I don't think equipped katanas is gonna help. Cover, cover, counter, or HP plus thirty. I guess I'll put counter on him. Are we good now? I think we're good, right? Oh my god. Alright, let's see here. Good. Someone said goodnight, but it scrolled off the screen. I don't even know who it was. No, I'm not taking tomorrow off. I don't know why you even asked that, Returnal. Why would I take tomorrow off? Uh, what's the biggest piece of advice I'm giving to someone younger? Uh, relax. Don't get so upset about everything. Things that will continue on in life, even if uh, something seems dire or annoying. Likely things are going to move on fine. You don't have to worry too much about it. There you go. Have a good night, Willow. Does it see you Tuesday? All right, Willow, I'll see you Tuesday. You just won't be here tomorrow. That's right. It has taken the first two acts, but now the amazing power of the crystal shard is within my competent grasp. Turn back and be gone. I shan't allow you to take it. No, I will not heed your warning. Then let the curtain rise. Here we go. My name is Gogo. -Go. Mimic extraordinaire. The basis know the very soul of mimicry. He won't shut up and look at the time. The ability to adapt and imitate anything, no matter the situation. 
Let's see, I'll imitate your every move. When you attack, I too will attack in light. When you cast a spell, I too will cast that spell. If you imitate me, you'll certainly win. More likely, the curtain will fall on your lives. HP has. You uncultured boars? Know you nothing of an artist's soul? Cut, cut, stop trying to mimic and mimic. Start over, recenter, and begin. I have an idea. He has 48,000 health. What I'm thinking is if I just keep jumping and he blo he'll block and then counterattack and then after that then I go all in at the end because it seems like So I'm not gonna attack. I'm maybe just jump, keep jumping, or maybe just wait. Maybe if I, what if I do nothing? What if I just stand here doing nothing, right? What if I do absolutely nothing? Maybe that's what it is. If you do nothing, then you'll get he'll you'll be able to do something. He'll you know after time. What I can do, I think, is jump. So let's just do nothing. He's doing nothing, I do nothing. Also, the theme song of Gogo -Go in Final Fantasy VI, so all the mimics apparently have the same theme song. Bravo, bravo. Perfect, just lovely. You observed me doing nothing. And you're copying my inaction. Or should I say... You're doing perfectly nothing perfectly. 
Yes, you feel it. The essence of mimicry. I give you my blessing to follow the true path of imitation. Adieu, break a leg. Fifty ability points for that. Fifty. What a fight. You so if you fight him, eventually he gets pissed, he casts Meteor and just kills your whole party. Or you can do what I just did and win instantly. Crystal Laser says it's heavily theorized perhaps this Gogo -Go is exactly the same character from Final Fantasy VI. When he casts Banish, he banishes himself to another dimension and ends up in Final Fantasy VI's world. That's kind of interesting. Okay. <clears throat> We're sitting within the Shard of Warrior Spirit. Mime! The Mime Job! And that's it! Master Mimic! We're done! We did it! Cool! So next time around... We definitely got to look for the, the next uh, dungeon, the underwater tower. I don't really know where it is. That'll be in two days. So today's what? Uh, Sunday? So Tuesday night? Tuesday night, we'll be searching for the third of the le legacy dungeons. Or, excuse me, legendary dungeons. <clears throat> it's likely either right here or in the bigger area to the south. But what we should do is we should land at a town, save up. Maybe Crescent Island. Let's go to Crescent Island again. Here we go. So, yeah, let's uh, hit up the... Let's hit up the inn. People are screaming they want bubbles. Let's do bubbles, and how about this for variety? How about a traditional bubble blow? Just for variety purposes. Since we've been doing the bubble gun so much, why not just a traditional bubble blow for tonight? For the 100 likes. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. A traditional bubble blow. That's right. That's the OG bubble blow. The, they, you know what they call that one? They call that the old-fashioned. That's what that's called. The old-fashioned. So, you guys earned yourself a nice old-fashioned tonight with your engagement. Thank you so much for that. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's rest up. <clears throat> yes. Oh, that's the item shop. Here we go. All right. You like that? People, see, I'll do it for variety. Sometimes I'll do a manual bubble blow just to keep things fresh. And sometimes I'll do the bubble guns. Maybe if it's a special night, I'll do the double bubble guns. We'll see. I like having the options, okay? No, I've never had, drank apple cider vinegar before. It's been in food I've eaten, but I never actually drank it. Um, what I want to do... Hold on. I'm thinking... I have a lot of money now. I'm thinking I should buy some Fuma Shuriken. They're 25,000 each, though, are they not? They're, like, incredibly expensive, if I remember correctly. Um, and I can't remember where you actually get them from. I can't remember... Was it the hidden town that you have to get it from? trying to remember the phantom village was it here no this is just the inn okay uh, uh, where's the item shop I swear there's an item shop in the game but maybe I'm mistaking uh. Oh, that's right, there's two different shops in each one, remember? Two different, uh, stores. Because I might want to buy some better stuff. Crystal Shield, but they might, they might have better things over there, too. Black Cowl. See, I would, I prefer the... We need the gold hairpin. 
By the way, we're about to finish up with the Red Mage and be able to finally change the Red Mage class. How do I get into this, the back of this building? I did it before. I, talk, I talked to that guy before. How did I get to him? Anyone remember how I got to that guy? Ah, the secret door. Flame rings absorb fire and protect against ice, but are weak against water. Coral rings absorb water, but are weak against lightning. Angel rings protect against aging and zombification. While I'm at it, I'll tell you about the ultimate accessory, the ribbon. I have two of those. Prevents most status ailments. Whoa, he's got everything. He's got all of them. And Hermes Sandals, shoes that automatically cast haste on the wearer. Prevents paralysis, sleep, stop, and slow. Holy shit, that's good. Right? No sleep, no stop, no slow, no paralysis. I don't think it would stop petrification, though. Right? And that's kind of sucked, but those are great. If I remember correctly, I in my original playthrough, I had every character always had Hermes Sandals on. Every single character would have Hermes Sandals, so everyone has auto haste every turn. You don't ever have to even cast it. Which is super duper good. Um, I kind of want this. I do. I think I'm going to buy some of these Hermes sandals. Problem is I don't have enough for a four. But maybe I do. Maybe if I sell some shit. Hmm. I don't think I need the circlet. Yeah, we'll sell the circlet. I need 50k. I don't have enough to get enough. I really don't think I'm going to get enough for 50k here. Even if I sell all these tiger masks, golden helm, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Here are the different elemental shields. They're worth a ton. I have, Okay, I don't need two ice shields. I'll sell one ice shield. I don't need two. Uh, Diamond belt is complete trash at this point. The moon ring blade I definitely don't need because I already have the better one. I don't need the dark bow. I also don't need two Avis killers. So there you go. Okay. Now everyone is going to be completely fast. And, and basically, this is going to be super good. Trust me. This makes your whole party insanely fast no matter what. So your whole party's super fast and can't basically be paralyzed. The only thing that can happen is they can get petrified. But that's about it. Everything else you're immune to. Money bags. Obtain 500,000 gil. There you go. All right, let's just save up. And next time around, we're going to go underwater and attempt to find the third of four legendary dungeons. So let's save up do this. There we go. Cool. Great progress tonight. We beat not one, not two, but three different dungeons. I didn't accidentally cheat <laughs> to do that. I actually did it legit. That was a great stream, right? That was absolutely a great stream. Alan PG 2000. No, I never played Bahamut's or Bahamut's Moot Lagoon. I've heard of it, never played it. So, so there you go. Crazy good. Great progress. Next time around, we look for the third legendary dungeon, and the progress continues in Final Fantasy V Pixel Remastered. Thanks a lot, everyone. Great stream tonight.